plants have existed for millions of years. But it was Charles Darwin, the British naturalist, who brought their existence to our attention a century ago. A plant that captures and devours animals represents a formidable challenge for the laws of nature. And this is precisely what attracted Jean-Jacques Labatt. Jean-Jacques currently owns an extraordinary collection that he grows at his home in the Gers region of France. The best known of the 550 species is the Venus flytrap found in the United States. The two reasons for its celebrity status are its trap mechanism which is active and that possesses all the attributions of a carnivorous being, teeth, jaws and a mouth. It has been a source of inspiration for numerous comic artists, but it is doubtful that the flies and insects that it seeks to devour recognize these qualities. After a period of digestion that lasts on average between five and ten days, the Venus flytrap opens up once more to exhibit its prey, sapped of any semblance of life force. We know that insects have a highly developed sense of smell, this being the case, it is extremely difficult for them to resist the wonderful fragrance of nectar that is secreted by the Saracenia from North America. This fragrance entices the insects closer and closer to the slippery, waxed, cornet-shaped leaves that send their prey sliding down to certain death by drowning in a pool of water. The perfect trap, but with one flaw. Whether the plant is hungry or not, its leaves continue to furnish a constant supply of goodies. Oh, now just look at this. Look, look at this. This is an example of a carnivorous plant with indigestion. This Saracenia is too greedy, it's just like me, and it's eating too much, so it's got indigestion. Now, if we open it up, like this, you'll see on the inside, look, look all these partially digested insects, and there are some that are still alive. This proves that carnivorous plants are really well-informed gourmets. The digestive enzymes that they secrete only attack the insects to which the plant is particularly partial. The wings and chitin of certain insects remain intact. In fact, I'm a little jealous of these plants because, unlike me, they don't need to take any Alka-Seltzer. And after a few days of indigestion, they're able to shed the old stomach, which is replaced by a new organ.